Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Retool. Retool is an app that allows you to rebuild DAT files from sources such as Redump or No Intro, eliminating any ROMs that you're not interested in based on tags such as region, language, and various others. So firstly, go to github.com forward slash unexpected panda, and then click on Retool. And then scroll down and then go to the releases section and then find the latest version of retool and click on the zip file and then once it's downloaded you need to unzip it and then once you've unzipped it you should see a blue icon called retool gui and open it and the first time you open it you'll see this prompt asking to download some additional files and then just type in y and press enter and then again the first time you run Retool, you'll see this prompt asking to download some additional files and then just click yes. The initial download may take a short while, so just sit back and put your feet up for a bit. And then once those 300 plus files have downloaded, we can return to Retool. Now the first thing we want to do is add a DAT file. If you'd like to learn more about DAT files, such as no intro, I've left a series of videos in the description below. Be sure to check those out. And what you can do is drag a DAT file into this column here. And for this example, I'll be using a NES no intro DAT file. So the first tab is regions. So here we're able to select which regions we're interested in. You can either just leave them as they are, or you could be very particular and select only certain regions. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove everything and I'm going to only select English speaking regions. So USA, Europe, and maybe world, for example. And depending on the order of your regions, the topmost region will take priority. So if you have, say, Super Mario 3 USA and Super Mario 3 Europe, Super Mario 3 USA will take priority, discarding the European version and the world version, if such exist. What you can also do is, if you are only interested in the English versions of ROMs, just hit this button here. And what you can do is highlight from Singapore to unknown and then drag them to the left, leaving you with the English language versions of games. And then just remember any region that is at the top will take priority over the below regions. Next up is languages. So go to the languages tab and here we can select which language we're interested in. So I'll just be choosing English because I don't understand any of these other languages. Next step is video. Here you can prioritize the order of the video standard that you're interested in. So say if you want 60 hertz NTSC games at the top, you can stick NTSC at the top. And if you're not a fan of PAL 50, maybe push that to the bottom, but it's entirely up to you. Do what you want here. So I'm just gonna put CCAM to the bottom, MPAL there. Yes, I'm just going to use this order. Next is exclusions. So what we need to do here is tick the types of ROMs that we're not interested in. For example, I don't want any bad dumps. I don't want any BIOS and other chips. Let's say I don't want any demos, uh, pirate, any promotional and licensed, maybe video. And I'll just leave it at that for now. And now let's go to options. And here are some more granular options that you may want to play around with. Feel free to go through these one by one. No, I won't be doing that in this video, but one I'll use for an example is prefer licensed versions over unlicensed aftermarket or homebrew titles. And next are overrides and post filters. I won't be covering these two in this video. If you'd like to know more about them, just click on this documentation link. And then once you're done, and you're happy with all your options, just go to process dat files and we'll just wait for it to do its business. And now we can close retool. Right, so here's the original NES no intro dat file and here is the retool version. So the original file was about two megabytes. So if I hover over it, you can see it's about 2.13 megabytes. And then the process one, which in theory should have fewer ROMs is now just over 200 kilobytes. And then what you can do is you can use this dat file in a tool such as Ezro or ROM Center. If you'd like to learn more about those two tools, I've left links to them in the description below. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching. <laughs>